Hi chums, I was asked by Slee Stacks Rule to do a video showing what the tomatoes look like on the inside. So that's what I'm going to do. I have nine tomatoes to do here. All I'm going to do here is cut tomatoes open and show you what they're like inside. So if that doesn't interest you, you can stop now. Okay, so the first one is one called Red Alert. It's an outside tomato. Um, it grows fairly well here, but the only one that actually does grow outside as far north as we are. So that's it. It's a, a small, like a sort of an ordinary standard size shaped tomato. And we just cut this boy in half. And you can see that it's just basically the same as any other small tomato. Um, I'll try to lift this up a wee bit more, maybe you can see it. Okay. So that's um, red alert. What I'm doing here is I'm making um, I'm making soup. So this next one is Gardener's Delight. This one's very ripe, so we'll just go through there, and you can see it's just nice and soft inside. Lots of juice or goo, as Ray Praxis would say, and we we'll cut it down the other way. You can see it's got a fairly big stem down the middle of it. But uh, they're quite a nice sweet tomato. That one there is totally ripe. The other one isn't quite ripe yet. So that's Gardener's Delight. The next one is Ilse Craig. This is a pretty famous tomato here and one that people really like to grow because it's a very, very tasty tomato. Um, and as you can see, a fair bit of beef in it, not, not a lot of goo. It's a, it's a nice, it's a fairly substantial tomato and a very nice salad tomato. People would slice that here for, for salads. The next one is um, Luciola. This is an Italian plum tomato. That's about the size it gets here and about an inch, inch and a half long. Um, if we cut this one through like that, you can see that there's not a lot of goo inside it. But it's a very good sauce tomato and cut in lengthways. You can see that there's lots of flesh. So that's, that's, that's what I would make sauces with more than anything, you know. The next one is Juliet. This is the one that uh, Scott sent me and it's another plum type tomato. Um, more made for sauces more than anything. So I'll just cut this boy across here. And as you can see, it's much the same as the Luciola with lots of flesh and not a whole lot of goo inside it. And if I cut them long ways, once again, you can see that there's lots of flesh around the side and not a whole lot of goo on the inside. And the next one is this one here. These are not quite ripe yet, but I thought I'd do them anyway since I'm doing this tomato. This is Indigo Rose, which is the one that uh, Scott sent me. It goes that purple color on the outside wherever it gets sun, but it stays green until it gets sun on this side. Wherever it doesn't get sun, it stays green. Um, how do you know they're ripe? When they go red in the bottom, they're ripe. But I gave my only ripe one away last night to a friend of mine. So that one there, um, I have never seen inside one of these before. So as you can see, there's a fair bit of beef on that. There's not a lot of goo. There's a fair bit of beef. And if we cut them across the other way, a fair bit of I, meat on it. If we cut them this way, let you see it. And as you can see, it's got a fairly thick wall. It's thicker than the... Um, well, it's about the same as the Elsa Craig, about the same. So probably like a salad type tomato again. I've tasted this and it tastes very much like any other salad tomato. The colour doesn't make a big difference. Boxcar Willy. I've only got one of these at the moment. That's, that's ripe. So we'll just cut them across the way. Um, Scott sent me these as well. These are a beautiful tomato. And you can see that one is absolutely perfect at the moment. It's just... Just, just as good as can be. Um, lots of meat and some goo, but very, very nice tomato. Those are, those are lovely. Those are a bit of a favourite now at the moment. The next one is Cherokee Purple. Now I made a mistake with these boys because I thought that they weren't ripe when they were when they were this colour here, but they are actually ripe. If you do the, if you do the squeeze, you can, they just give as you squeeze them, and I was finding they were actually rotting on the vine because. I was leaving them to go red, but they go that kind of, I don't know if that's a pinky, greeny colour. Whatever it is, that's them ripe anyway. Just cut this boy through here. And I've never cut one of these before. Um, so this is going to be interesting. And if we open them up, there you go. A lot of beef inside it. 
a lot of meat and not a whole lot of goo. So I'm pleased about that. We'll just cut them down the way as well, see what happens. Yeah, same again. Lots of beef, lots of meat and not much goo. So I'm very pleased about that. And um, where do I put this bite? That's it. And the last one then is, um, the last one is what? What's that one called? Boxcar, no, Big Beef Hybrid. Never grown this before, obviously I've never, I've never grown this size of tomato until Scott sent me the seeds and I thought they would do nothing, but they've done really, really well. So I'll cut this boy here. I've, I haven't tried this boy before, so this is new for me as well. And this will not go into soup. This one's going to these the last couple of minutes into sandwiches. And look at that. Isn't that lovely? <laughs> I'm really pleased with that, mate. That's a lovely tomato. I'm not going to cut that again because I want to keep it for slicing. I'm very pleased with that. So there you are, folks. That's the tomatoes that I grow, the whole nine of them. I, if somebody had said to me, how many types of tomatoes are you growing? I might have said four or five. But I didn't think it was, I did nine until I got them all out there now. So that's it. So I hope that was useful for some reason. But for interest's sake, if nothing else. I like these ones here very much. This is good. And look, the same sort of thing with the box car willies. Same sort of thing again. So there you are, folks. All the best now. Bye-bye. The next video is going to be soup. Okay? All the best now. Bye.